Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the Thor the Mighty Avenger Deluxe Ice Attack Frost Giant figure. Um, a very nice looking figure here in the packaging. Now the um, Deluxe line is considerably bitter, um, bigger as far as packaging goes, as you can see here, compared to the standard Sword Spike Thor figure. Um, there's only two figures in the initial wave, one of the Deluxe figures, this guy and um, what's he called? Blaster Armor Thor, which kind of looks silly to me, so I just went with the Frost Giant. But instead of getting some kind of crazy gimmick, Frost Gi the, um, the Frost Giant actually comes with quite a few nice accessories. He's got like an ice club, an ice axe, kind of like an ice sleeve, an ice helmet, two projectiles, and it looks like two cannons. So a very nice figure. Um, nice accessories. On the back here, you can see him with a few of his accessories on. And it says, Hailing from the cold, worn, torn city of... Jotunheim? The Frost Giant is a dangerous enemy to the citizens of Asgard. The foe is armed with all kinds of weapons and is ready to take the power of Thor head on. With his Frost Helmet, the Frost Giant is almost invincible to any harm that may come his way. It says, shoots an ice missile. Down here, um, the first figure is that other Thor. Blaster Armor Thor. Just looked a little silly to me, so I skipped him. Um, Shield Bash Odin. And, of course, the figure you just saw, Sword Spike Thor. So... A very nice looking figure. That being said, let's pull him out of the packaging. And here we have the Frost Giant out of packaging. I have him wearing his um, helmet and holding, I guess this is his axe. Um, a very nice paint job on this figure. I'll go ahead and say that right off the bat. Um, a lot of night, the blue definitely stands out really well all over the figure. Now, let's actually go on to detail, speaking of that. And let's pull this helmet off of him real quick. Because the head sculpt really is nice. I mean, you can tell they've got a really fantastic job on that sculpt. You can see those beady red eyes back there. Really nice scowl, this crown. Um, I'm really loving the detailing on his chest. So, just overall, they really outdid themselves with this figure. So, panning back out. Um, pulling his weapons out of his hand. His weapons actually have a fair amount of detail on them. You can see there's actually some little wood grain detail in there, some sculpting. Um, there's a very nice ice effect on the blades. You get the axe, the um, ice mace. Um, you also get these two missiles and launchers. For the life of me, I can't figure these things out. Um, you press them in, but then there doesn't seem to be any way to actually get them to... Oh wait, there it is. That's a really well-hidden button. It's right here on the edge. and I guess you press it in, press it down. Oh well, it was. Is that not a button? Oh well. Ah, yeah, you just touched the edge of the missile. I thought that was a button. So, not well hidden because it's not a button. My fault. Yeah, but. I don't know. These things just kind of look ridiculous to me. You clip them on his arms, and I guess it's like he's launching ice at you. But due to his, the way they've sculpted these um really nice attachments on his arm, I guess over here it'll work better. A little hard to get him to go on. But oh well. Um, those are kind of ridiculous to me, so I'm not using them. You've also got this giant, I guess this is supposed to be like he forms ice around his arm to make it a blade. Um, that doesn't look horrible, but I don't know. The actual figure itself, they did such a good job on the sculpt, I just hate to cover it up. And of course his ice helmet, which looks nice enough on him. So personally, I'm going to end up with just one of the blades and his helmet on. The rest of these will go in a spare parts bin. But um, the... Frost Giant's articulation, he does a full 360 at the head, as well as some up and down. His arms go out and up, do a full 360, bend at the elbow, and spin, and spin at the wrist. He does a full 360 at the abdomen, also has a crunch, legs are a ball joint, go out to here, spin, double joint at the knee, and have an ankle joint, same for both legs. So very nice articulation on the Frost Giant. Now, the deluxe line of figures is running you 18, I mean not $18, 12 bucks at stores um, compared to the standard line which is running you eight. Um, I don't think that's because the, I don't think due to the Frost Giant size he's only in the deluxe line. I think they are, they either have one or they're planning a three and a quarter inch Frost Giant in the single carded Thor line non-deluxe figure. But he's definitely an awesome figure. He comes with a ton of accessories. The detail alone is enough to recommend this guy. He's a must-have. 
and we'll get a quick size comparison. You can see while he's not exactly a giant, he is bigger than the other Thor figures. So definitely going to be nice in your collection. So 12 bucks, I think, is a fair price for this guy. I'm going to be it. I'm definitely not the guy to aim those gimmicky figures at, like the missile launching Thor and all that crap. But out of all those that I'm sure to, will come, this guy's actually a nice figure. Um, good accessories, good detail, good articulation. I definitely say you need this guy in your collection. And this is J Train 997 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.